Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Now into hour number two, Michael Savage coming up at the balance of the hour. His new book, Stop the Coming Civil War, couldn't be a more important subject to cover. Kevin in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Welcome. How you doing, Alex? Good. Um, I was wanting to check on the, I was wanting to talk to you about the Ebola thing and where I think it might be going. Uh, from what I've been seeing, where they're starting to drop it all off at, it goes along with the Wildlands Project map. Uh, I haven't seen it coming anywhere near the uh, mega cities they're planning on building up. And I'm just, I'm just in there throwing out this little war game plan on there that, they might plan on starting a vaccine in those cities, and when they say they reached enough vaccines, they'll cut off the rest of the people coming up to the mega cities to get cured whenever it starts busting out for the Ebola in the country. Well, that's exactly what will happen. That's what the Pentagon is saying. General, if Ebola reaches Central America, there will be mass migration to the U.S., uh, wherever this stuff starts breaking out, people will race in all different directions. Bigger than the death toll, even if it's a few hundred or a few thousand, it's going to cause super panic. And the government's doing everything you do if you wanted it to spread. Uh, do you disagree with that statement? No, I do not. <laughs> I, uh, and I, I wish somebody did. Years, I, I see how it's going and the way they're saying it's actually, that's the way it's going. Well, God bless you, brother. Let's all just pray about it, and hopefully it'll mutate into a harmless form or something. I hadn't done that in 30-plus years. But Ed in FEMA Region 4, what what former state are you calling from, Ed? North Carolina. All right, go ahead. Uh, I believe that there are six steps to get us back onto the track of uh, liberty. Obviously, there's a lot more because there's a lot of bull crap that they've been pulling. But without these six steps, in my mind, we will never make it back to the state or the country we were before. The first is the most important. is government ties the Fed. But well, what I said earlier is I'm going to go to Ebola calls right now. So if you want to hold till Savage is gone, I can come back to you. It's open phones in the third hour. But I said it's Ebola calls, guys. People need to hear what I'm saying sometimes. When it's a free-for-all, it's a free-for-all. If you want to hold, you can. John is in California, says he is a, 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 a illegal, but agrees with me. That's what it says on screen. John, go ahead. How you doing, Alex? Good, sir. Go ahead. Well, I, I wasn't talking about Ebola. I was just basically bringing up the fact that I have been deported, and I still do agree with you. Well, I'm not against even the individual immigrants themselves. It's how they're being used by the political class is what I'm saying. Well, I agree with you. I, but, you know, I am, you know, am family-orientated. I, I run two businesses. I, uh, I agree with what you're saying. I mean, I mean, does that make me a traitor? No, but people? we need to make a way to make people that are productive be able to become citizens. But the, the government doesn't want people like you. They want people that want a free ride to bankrupt the country. That's the plan. So how 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 do how, how do we deal with that? I don't know. I wish I had the answer. I wish I did too, because when you're playing against an adversary that doesn't follow any rules and is completely evil, how do you defeat them? You block anything they support. Even though they may have good reasons for a lot of what they're doing, their intent is evil. Do you see the difference? Yeah, well, I think that if if you were to maybe uh you know, have a bilingual peop uh, a show or something uh, to, 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 you know. So I others, absolutely, you know, totally agree with you that if I could launch my other projects and get things done, that the first thing we'd do would be have World Spanish Service InfoWars News. But then I've got to vet everything those reporters say and do, and I've got to deal with it, and I've got to, uh, I mean, believe me, that is that is in the pipeline. Well, you know, I, I agree with you, and I, I think that there's a lot more Hispanics that do agree with you, and I, and I feel that maybe they are being categorized by a lot of other people. No, I know. The I, media says if you're Hispanic, you support getting rid of the family, turning your guns in, and worshiping world government, and that's not what most Hispanics support. But but as a political bloc with the illegals, they do over 90% vote for whatever the Democrats say. And then you got Republicans that are loyal opposition, like Boehner, 
who funds Obamacare, everything else. So between that political combination, only a total wake up can stop it. Michael Savage coming up. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Tell folks how you got introduced to Super Male and then when Super Female came out, tell us what happened. After I saw such a huge positive change in my husband, I had to try it for myself. Talk about the effects. I feel great when I wake up in the morning. I have drive to go to the gym. I feel like I look better. I feel better. I feel sexier. I love it. Even if you don't believe in supplements, take the challenge, get a bottle of Super Male, a bottle of Super Female. Check it out for yourself. Consult your physician. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. This is life changing. DNA force. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. DNA force. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies. DNA force. We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA force. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. You've heard about the essential qualities of iodine when it comes to your well-being, and you've read the opinions of top experts regarding this good member of the halogen family. Still, reports indicate that iodine is absent in sufficient amounts from the daily lives of countless people worldwide. Now, our extra strength new nascent iodine formula is here. Survival Shield X2, leading the way into the next generation of super high quality nascent iodine. InfoWars Life Survival Shield X2 is derived from 200 plus million year old salt solutions found more than 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface. The result is a unique nascent iodine that is both concentrated and free of unwanted additives, genetically modified ingredients, and completely vegan. We even pre-screen our Survival Shield X2 iodine for radiation. Pure, clean, and sourced from deep within the Earth, X2 nascent iodine is available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. That's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We are here live broadcasting worldwide. Back weeknights, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News. The news websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I've always believed that using information warfare and telling the truth, we can defeat the mountain of lies being put out by the collectivist and the globalist. And we can stop them building their prison planet, thus the term prison planet. Now, we're joined for the rest of the hour, the next 52 minutes, by Dr. Michael Savage, a multimedia icon in the conservative uh, libertarian constitutional movement. Dr. Savage holds a master's degree in medical botany and a second in uh, a lot of other key research areas. Additionally, he earned his Ph.D. from the University of California at Berkeley in epidemiology and nutrition sciences. He is the author of 25 books, including four New York Times bestsellers. He uh, earned the coveted uh, Freedom of Speech Award from Talkers Magazine in 2007, michaelsavage.com or michaelsavage.wnd.com. And when I got his new book in a few days ago and had a chance to start reading it, I haven't finished it yet, uh, it was literally like reading Veritas because uh, I'm not plagiarizing him, he's not plagiarizing me. I I anybody that's sat back for 20 years like I have, 40-something years like he has or longer, and watch what's going on, we're repeating history. But the way he puts it and lays it out really even lit a fire under my butt. 
the book is Stop the Coming Civil War. I intend to finish it tonight. Got about three chapters left. It's a big book, but a powerful read. I have no stock in it. I intend to sell it later as soon as we can get it in. Uh, it's Stop the Coming Civil War, My Savage Truth. Michael Savage, number one New York Times bestselling author. Everything you see with Homeland Security has been flipped from Al-Qaeda and radical Islam to Tea Party, gun owners, returning veterans, uh, libertarian groups, constitutionalists, pro-life groups, the IRS persecuting them, going after free speech, uh, banning uh, Halloween parties, dressing like cowboys or Indians at colleges. It's a tyranny. These people are not liberals like Thomas Jefferson. They are autocratic control freaks like Joseph Stalin. And Dr. Savage has been exposing this for decade after decade after decade, and now it's coming to a head. Homeland Security is fully converting over to go after the American people. The gun confiscation has already begun in New York, California, and other areas. Uh, the persecution is right out of, well, Nazi Germany. Hitler from 33 to about 39 ratcheted up political harassment, audits, uh, going after businesses of groups he didn't like. We're seeing a cold war against anyone loyal to common sense and freedom. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm done ranting. I want to give Dr. Savage the floor here. But he gets it, I get it, a few others get it, Joseph Farah gets it, but undoubtedly, and I talked to top Pentagon brass on air and off air. I have top CIA sources, you hear them here. People that are on my show right after they brief Congress. The military knows Obama and others are funding radical Islam. They know the borders are open. They know they're letting Ebola in. They know they're shutting down the power plants. They know they're shutting down the businesses and passing taxes to kill the country. This is to bankrupt us under Cloward and Piven, but it's beyond that. And now they want to start a civil war with Obama at its head as the new Lincoln. Now, Savage has been saying that for eight years. They're now making all the preparations to do it. His book is so timely. It is the talking points of truth. It could end up being one of the most important books of the modern era. If people get it and get it out to others, and if every talk show host covers these points, because I've been living this, I know this is accurate, and it's finally on paper. I never got Obama Deception 2 out. I was too busy. Its subtitle was The Coming Second American Civil War. Okay? So thank God this got put out, but from his... Gravitas perspective. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm hyperventilating here, sir, because if people don't pay attention to this, we're not going to save this country, and, and it's, it's, it's going to collapse in my view. Am I wrong? Am I right? You've got the floor. Well, people, look, look, I want to start from the point of view of the doubters and the skeptics, Alex. I always think about what the people listening to me who don't agree with us think. Some of them are intelligent, obviously, and they listen to us because they know we're super intelligent, but they don't agree with us. They think we're hysterics or alarmists. So I would start by addressing those who say, come on, you're just trying to peddle a book. What civil war? Well, first of all, Obama declared a civil war the day he took office. Didn't he say he was going to transform America? Didn't he say he was a transformational president? Well, he's done everything he said he was going to do, but not entirely. He's done it in six years, a very good job for the globalists. Take a look at every aspect of this government. And I don't mean just the government. Each chapter is interesting. I rephrased before I published it to the war on. The war on our borders, language, culture. Can anyone listening to Alex's show right now say that they have not uh, attacked the borders, our language, and our culture? How about the war on the U.S. military? The war on American medicine? Uh -huh. I'll talk about Ebola. If you like your Ebola, you can keep your Ebola. If you like your uh, uh, ED-68 virus in your child's school, you can keep your ED-68. It was brought in by the train load from Central America this summer. What I love most is I did a chapter of the war on civil rights. Obama poses as the great champion of civil rights. Oh, really? Tell that to those targeted by the IRS. Tell that to those being snooped on by the NSA. What civil rights? You mean for the rioters and the, and the freeloaders and the grifters? Seems they have civil rights and the rest of us don't. The war in our schools, who can argue that our schools are better than they were before he took office? The children are dumber than they've ever been. We are now below that of, I think, Nicaragua in, in, in learning. I've never seen anything like it. When I first moved to California, I love the fact that I was a poor grad student. I had two children, God bless them. And I knew I could never afford to send them to private school. The University of California, Cal State, public schools were at the top of the heap in the country. You know where they are now? 